Taipei, bustling metropolitan megacity in the north of Taiwan, home to almost 8 million people. But one of the unique things about this city is that the entire Taipei Basin is surrounded by dense forest habitat. Right on the city doorstep, you can find an incredible diversity of unique and interesting wildlife, including an abundance of fascinating snake species. Many of which you may well see on hikes around or even within Taipei, especially at night. In this video, we'll look at the top 10 most common snakes of the greater Taipei area. This ranking is based both on my own extensive observations as well as records from iNaturalist.org and includes both day hikes and night hiking. If you would rank them differently or have anything to add, please leave a comment. So without any further ado, let's get to it. Number 10 may surprise some, especially considering its name. I thought about ranking it higher, and it is probably the most likely you will encounter on day hikes. The common mop viper, Samodynastes pulverulentus. As the name suggests, it's common. These grumpy little snakes are mostly diurnal, so are quite common to see on a forest path or roadside. They're a very small snake, growing up to about a max of 65 centimeters. They're often quite feisty and readily bite, often forming defensive coils, much like a viper. But behind that grouchy looking frown, they're not known to be dangerous to humans. These rear and front fanged snakes possess a mild venom that may cause some redness, swelling and bleeding, but no known human fatalities have occurred. Their triangular shaped head has them sometimes confused with true vipers. But as you can see, they're quite different. They're usually a light drab brown with a mask pattern on their head. Some are very dark or even reddish. By day, just give them some space and they'll hurry off. At night, they're typically seen sleeping in shrubs and bushes. They usually feed on skinks and other snakes, but they'll also eat frogs. Okay. Number nine, the Formosa wolf snake. Lagodon rostrati. This non-venomous nocturnal snake feeds primarily on lizards and invertebrates. It's usually terrestrial, which means it lives mostly on the ground. Although non-venomous, it can often be confused by the highly venomous many-banded crate, especially the juveniles, as their bands are more vibrant and distinct. On close inspection, however, it can quickly be distinguished the mini bander crate has a triangular body cross section, with its dorsal scales being significantly larger than the rest of its scales. The Formosa wolf snake has a much smaller, slender build with a very slender tail. Its bands are usually more blurred than the highly defined black and white of the mini bander crate, especially the lower two thirds of its body. The wolf snake is also usually a gray, more gray brown than black and the lower portion of its body. As with any snake encounter, always be 100% sure before you get too close. They're generally quite shy and will hurry away, but if disturbed, they often bite and may perform a defensive display, flicking their tail as a warning. The Chinese name, Bai Mei Hua, means plum blossom flower, which is a beautiful name for a beautiful snake. Uh, number eight, the many banded crate, Bungarus multisinctus. In Chinese, Yusanjie, which literally means umbrella festival. Why it's called umbrella festival is unclear. Uh, if you have any idea, or perhaps you know, do leave a comment. Although mild mannered, this is considered the most venomous snake outside of Australia. Although extremely venomous, their passive, shy disposition means they're not very dangerous if left alone. That being said, they are still very dangerous if picked up or handled. If you leave them alone, they will either freeze or usually just quickly and quietly move away to safety. If they feel threatened, they will rarely strike, but rather form a defensive coil or figure eight 
flatten their body and sometimes thrash about. It's just trying to say, Can't you see? I'm highly venomous. I don't want to bite. Just leave me alone. If you're careless and get bitten, you may not even notice. The sight of the bite may itch a little, but not show signs of swelling or bleeding. However, within minutes to an hour or so, you may exhibit blurred vision, muscle cramps and spasms, paralysis and even difficulty breathing. Without antivenom, there is an 85% mortality rate. Just leave them alone and you'll be totally fine. They have a varied diet of mostly frogs, lizards, fish, small rodents, and often other snakes. Not humans. Number seven, the adorable Atayal slug snake, Piraeus Atayal. These non-venomous nocturnal semi-arboreal snakes prefer humid mountainous regions. They are still fairly commonly found in the forested parks and walkways around the edges of the city. As the name suggests, they feed mostly on slugs and snails. They may be found out on the hunt after damp weather, or sitting in ferns and small shrubs. Interestingly, they have a special shaped jaw and teeth that allow them to almost corkscrew a snail from its shell. These are extremely docile and slow moving snakes and will almost never bite. They sometimes curl up into a ball when threatened. However, they usually just chill. The Chinese name, Dan Toshu, literally means blunt head snake, referring of course to that cute little face they have. And they really are the cutest snake here, and quite small reaching a maximum of only about 70 centimeters. They can range in color from a dark copper brown to a much lighter gold brown. Number six, the elegant square head cat snake, Boiga crepolini. These long slender snakes can reach lengths of about 160 centimeters. They can be quite irritable and quick to bite if disturbed. However, they're rear fanged and only mildly venomous. There have been no known human deaths, though allergies may occur. The Chinese name, Da Tou Shu, means big head snake, which is quite descriptive given their comparatively large head compared to a distinctive slender neck and body. In English, cat snake refers to their cat eyes. These snakes come in various color morphs usually a lighter yellowish brown. They can also come in copper hues, as well as some being gray, with dark chocolate brown bands. The gray morphs will often have distinct yellow fringes on their bands, making them somewhat resemble a harbor. However, they can easily be distinguished by their long, slender bodies, squarish rather than triangular head, smooth scales, and a lack of pit. These mostly nocturnal snakes are excellent climbers and will usually be seen up in trees, especially at night. However, they will come down to cross roads and paths. Now for the top five. These snakes you will almost always see out on a summer night walk. At number five, the often feared Taiwan Habu, Protobothrops Hucrosquamatus. These nocturnal, highly venomous pit vipers are ambush predators, so will usually be found on the sides of paths, fallen branches, or on the edge of water containers, where they lie and wait for passing prey. Their prey consists mostly of small animals such as frogs, lizards, and small rodents, etc. Their Chinese name, Gui Kuhua, refers to their tortoise-shell-like pattern. They're very easy to identify by the classic viper triangular shaped head and distinctly narrow neck, as well of course as their Guaycohua pattern. These snakes can pose some danger as they are often hard to see when walking on forest trails or around agricultural areas. If bitten, try to remain calm and get to the nearest hospital or clinic 
as fast as possible. Habu antivenom is very abundant in Taiwan. So if treated promptly, there is very little chance of death or major health issues. These are a medium sized snake reaching up to around 150 centimeters. Number four, the red banded snake, Lycodon rufozonatus, or Hongbanshu in Chinese. A medium sized nocturnal snake that can reach lengths of up to about 160 centimeters. They are non venomous and terrestrial, with reddish brown to rusty brown and black bands. These snakes will eat pretty much anything they can fit in their mouths, particularly frogs and toads. They will usually flee when disturbed and can be quite irritable. If handled, they will readily bite and excrete a foul-smelling secretion from their anal glands. They are quite adaptable and can be commonly seen in any habitat at night. The next two snakes are commonly confused, despite one being harmless and the other highly venomous. Number three, the gorgeous and harmless greater green snake, Tyus Major. In Chinese it's called Qingshu, which simply means green snake. This is a medium sized diurnal snake that can reach a length of up to 130 centimeters. They're semi-arboreal snakes that can be seen out on the ground hunting worms and larvae by day. At night, they're very easy to spot sleeping up in the branches of trees and ferns. They are very mild-mannered and will almost never bite. They truly are a stunningly beautiful snake with vibrant glossy green scales. Unfortunately, they are often confused with the other common green snake, the green tree viper. However, again, they are easily distinguished by their smooth, glossy scales compared to the green tree viper's matte green. The greater green has a rounded face with no defined neck between the head and body. The viper, on the other hand, has a distinctively triangular shaped head with a narrow, well-defined neck. In addition, the viper usually has a white line down the side of its body with a reddish-brown tail. The greater green has no markings and a uniformly green tail. Lastly, the eyes of the greater green have round black pupils, while the viper has cat-like oval pupils and usually red eyes. Which brings us to number two, the beautiful but deadly green tree viper, Trimurosaurus stegnigeri, also known as the bamboo pit viper or in Chinese, Chuwei Qingju Si. And although nocturnal, they may also be seen sitting in trees and shrubs during the day, as they will often remain in the same place for very extended periods of time. Like the Taiwan Habu, these are ambush predators, and will patiently wait for prey to come within range. These stunning green arboreal snakes are highly venomous. Frogs are its primary prey, but they will eat lizards and other small animals too. These snakes account for most of the venomous snake bites in Taiwan, as they are very common and can be easily grabbed by accident by workers or hikers dealing with Taiwan's dense vegetation. Otherwise, they are fairly mild-mannered and seldom strike out. If bitten, there will likely be swelling, bleeding, bruising at the site of the bite. Like the Habu, the green tree viper antivenom is in abundant supply nationwide, so bites are rarely fatal. Just get yourself quickly and calmly to a hospital or clinic. These are generally small snakes, reaching up to about 90 centimeters. Those of you who know Taiwan snakes will be wondering at this point, what could possibly be number one? Once you see, you will not be at all surprised. What's that hissing? Number one, the pipe snake, Serpens Papio also sometimes known as the hose snake or hula hoop snake. These snakes can commonly be seen all across Taiwan, both by day or night. Don't worry, they are non-venomous and never bite. The only danger they pose is a potential tripping hazard, or perhaps a bit of distraction on a hike. So that wraps up the top 10 most common snakes in North Taiwan. I hope you found that informative and are more confident to recognize the snakes you may encounter 
during your adventures on the fair island of Formosa. Before we go, I would just like to list a couple of links to some very useful information on Taiwan snakes, as well as do's and don'ts when encountering snakes. You can find them linked in the video description. Happy hiking! See you next time.